Well, it may be officially autumn here in the UK, but you know what looking outside reminds me of the undertones. Here comes the summer. Time to sit back, kick off your shoes and watch Monday Matters right here on Gary Stuff. Hello there, I'm Gary. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back. If you've been here before, today indeed is Monday Matters. As usual, I'll be having a quick look at the news of the week. I'll be having a look at what I've been up to on my bench. And of course, I'll be announcing this week's Kit of the Week. And all these bits come as chapters. You can hop backwards and forwards as your heart desires. Anything you'd like, please do give it the imperial thumbs up on the like button below because every like counts. And of course, if you haven't done so yet, please do subscribe to the channel hit that bell and you'll be notified of all my future videos as they are released. And of course, if you want to give a bit more concrete support to the channel, you can do that through Super Thanks by becoming a channel member or indeed by using any of my online partner programs. Now, I want to start off with a, uh, three things, first of all. First of them is this Thursday is the first Thursday of the month and we all know what that means. Yes, it's live stream day. So Thursday, 7th of September, 8 till 10 in the evening, British summer time. That's 2000 to 2200 Zulu plus one, if that means anything to you. As usual, I'll be uh, continuing with my um, Meng. Thank you. Yeah, my Meng, King Porsche, King Tiger, Porsche turret tank. The egg kit I was given a while back. It's a lovely looking thing. I'll be doing that, making that whilst we're chatting. Um, drop into the live stream. Drop me a note. Drop me a question. Drop me a comment. Chat with each other while I'm working. Whichever you prefer to do. But just just come along. Friendly place. Have some bad chance. Have some chatter. Have some banter. I mean to say. And um, yeah. Come along. It's, it's been fun. The ones I've done so far, I've, I've really, really enjoyed. And I really appreciate when you guys hang around and have a chat and give me your thoughts and, um, you, know, you know, help each other out. You know, someone will say, what do you think of this? And someone else will chime in. Well, actually, I've just made one of those. And da, da, da. It's great. Nice part of the community. So do please come along and have a chat. I really look forward to it. Um, second thing is the group build has been going on really amazingly. Um, some people have already finished their group builds. Uh, some people have not got their kits together yet. Remember, it goes through to the October 21st. So if you haven't got anything for it yet, there's tons of time to join in. If you have uh, done already made your kit, yeah, think about making another one. Whatever. Just come along. Have some fun. All it is is for a bunch of us to have a bit of a laugh and share the pictures of the things we make. And if we all learn a little bit of something on the way, that's great. I've already shot the box opening of my HMS Devonshire. That will come up soon on my channel. I'm pretty scared by the, the photo etch and the resin, but I said I'd do it. i got to do it. So there we go. Um, why don't we have a look at a few, um, actually, some just a, a random selection of some of the builds that a lot of you are doing for the moment. There we go. As I said, it's just a random selection of the things I've seen on Facebook, I've seen on uh, Twitter or on Instagram, or indeed that you've emailed me. Get in touch with what you're up to, get in touch with your builds, you know, where you are, things like that. And but definitely, definitely remember to send me a nice picture of your completed kit. And I'll start showing more each week, I hope, on the channel as we go through. And then I'll have a special video to sum up the group build at the very end in October, so keep them coming. Um, finally, I just wanted to talk about um, a thing that's just started on the channel, and I know a lot of people are a bit worried about it. And yeah, you know, first of all, thank you to every one of you who expressed some concern or got in touch and emailed me or left me messages on the channel because I hadn't put anything up for the week. 
it's kind of rewarding knowing that uh, you'll look out for my content so much, which that's fantastically good. Um, but it's also kind of nice to think, hang on, Gary hasn't done anything for a few days. I hope there's not a problem. There isn't a problem. What has happened is, you, I hope you've already seen, if you haven't, do please check it out and give me your views on it. I've started doing some sort of general history videos. And this is a collaboration with uh, my stepson, Joe, who runs a site called Joe Blogs, which is like, I don't know, 25, 30 times the size of mine. It, it's massive, massive, massive compared to my channel. Um, and we've we worked on this. It's a, a history thing. What happened on this day? The first one we did was September 3rd. So what happened on September 3rd through history? So it's just a collection of uh, anniversaries, birthdays, uh, deaths that occurred, um, weird things, fun things, and more serious things. So it runs about 15 minutes or so. Just give it a watch. I've got it on my channel. Joe's got it on his channel. We'll just see how we go. I'm aiming to do about one a week if I can. Now, the thing is, this last week, it was an absolute struggle to get the format right, to get the content right. I think we've now hit on a formula that we can work with. Um, getting the archive material takes a long time. I mean, it takes probably about two days solid to build one they do one of these the problem we had with the first one we've, we've actually gone through three versions of it so the whole week has been spent doing this thing pretty much i have done a few other things as well um so that's just a bit of a glitch for the first week it won't be like that in future i promise you i am not giving up making models it's what does my head the world of good it's what I do to relax as well as have fun and also share with you guys. So I'm not giving up on more. There's plenty, plenty more on its way, let me tell you. Um, but I will be doing a video on history once a week. I hope you enjoy it. I hope it just helps punctuate the week a bit. We'll see how it goes. Just trying to appeal to a wider audience, really, because as much as I love model making and I love the model making community in particular, do you know what? It's not massive when we look at YouTube and earnings potential and things like that. You know, unfortunately, that's a reality of life. So not leaving this community, staying where I am with that, but on the side doing these videos as well. But thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all of you who are so concerned about me or what thought something terrible had happened or whatever. I'm absolutely fine. Everything is absolutely fine. Just took a lot to get that first week was one out. Anyway, enough of all of that. Let's have a look at the news this week. Border Models has announced a Spitfire Mark 5B in its 135th scale range. The kit comes with metal barrels for the cannon, photo etch parts, full engine and gun bays, and masks for the canopy and for the camouflage. Border say modelling skills are helpful if under 14 years of age. I think modelling skills are helpful at any age. No idea yet on price or availability. Rumours abound that Tamiya is about to announce a new 148 scale Grumman FM1 Wildcat or Martlet Mark V. Some people say this is a new parts rebox of an older kit. Some say it's an entirely new tool. I'd incline to go with the latter view, as the last Tamiya 148 Wildcat I can find is almost 30 years old. I'll guess that there will be other follow-on releases of the rest of the F4F marks as time goes on. Special Hobbies say their latest release of their Blackburn Skewer in 148 will be the last for this tooling first release in 2009. I've built three of the 172nd skewers and, apart from the rear gun mount, they've been very good to make. I may have to get one of these myself in case I decide to do the history of 800 Naval Air Squadron in 148 scale, as well as the 172nd I've already done. Something really unusual from Welsh models is the 1144 scale the Havland Australia DHA-3 Drover three-engined aircraft in the colours of the Royal Flying Doctor Service of Australia. This was essentially a three-engined version of the, the Havland Dove with a tailwheel, 
better suited to the conditions in Australia. If you fancy converting your new 148th Armour Hobby Hurricane into something a little bit different, maybe this photo reconnaissance set from Ames will take your fancy. It includes two cameras, a controller and selector, some photo etch and some extra decals. Must Have Models has a set of US Antony Mark II bomb trolleys in 148 scale, just in case you want to jazz up that airfield diorama a bit. Back on land and Deskit has this Renault R35 tank. It's in resin and it's their first 1 16th scale kit. This from a company that's produced loads of things in 1 35th and other scales. Border Models has this new tool kit of the Sonderkraftfahrzeug 165 Hummel self-propelled gun in 1 35th scale, either in this early version or this later production version, both with the 15 centimeter gun. FC Model Brand has this 176th scale diorama set of a Matilda Mark I tank with a couple of soldiers walking on a cobbled road. I just hope it looks a little bit better than the press photo dunce once it's come off of the resin printing base. Mini Art have added wooden barrels to their ever expanding range of diorama accessories in the increasingly popular 148th scale. And in 1144th scale is this new Japanese Type 90 tank from Pit Road. At just 6.5 centimetres long, it will look good on a multi vehicle diorama or just a space saving stand on its own. On to the ocean waves now, and Tamir has a new toolkit of the recently commissioned JS Mogami, first of a new class of frigate for the Japanese Maritime Self Defence Force, as its navy is known. The kit works out to about 19 centimetres or 8 inches long when complete. And finally, I know many of you like your superhero figures, so you'll be glad to hear that More Storm is continuing its 1 9th scale kits from the Iron Man franchise, now with the Mark V and the Mark 46 suits. On my bench this week, well, as I mentioned earlier, the history of videos uh, taken a lot of time out of production, but I have still been working in the background. So the uh, diorama I was building for my G7107 truck, it's built, it's primed, it's ready to start painting. So I'll be cracking on with that this week and shortly should be able to put up some videos. So I'll probably put one like the box opening and build first, and then I'll put up one about turning it into a, a diorama and doing the scenics and doing the painting and stuff like that because that's kind of a, a large part of the battle so i'll probably have two videos about that i've been doing the figure painting as well i've been um videoing that that's going pretty well that's really not far away from being finished so hopefully there'll be a video about that as well so those have been um taking up my time as i mentioned i have done the box opening video for hms devonshire that i'm doing for the group build that will be released, I think, later this week as a, a box opening. So there's quite a lot of stuff as well. There's some other spin-off content. I've got a couple of other builds going on that um, I'll be showing later on, but I'm also doing other things at the same time, like paint reviews and airbrush reviews, built around making kits as well. So rather than just spraying on a bit of paper and saying, hey, this is really good, I don't spray bits of paper, I spray models. So... I use the, the, the uh, airbrushes, I use the paints to actually make my models. And so that's what I'll be showing you, how it actually works out. A real world test, if you like. All of those are running, so there's tons of content coming up the road. Of course, what I really need to do is add to that. And that's all about making this week's... kit of the week well it's actually going to be this week and next week's kit of the week because it's a two-in-one kit it is the icm 148 scale mistel one so i'm making a yunkers 88 and i'm making a bf 109 in 148 putting the latter onto the former as a flying bomb 
So there's a lot of build there, a lot of paints, a lot of parts. So it's going to be done over two weeks, okay? As usual, I will be doing a box opening of the whole kit. I will have a look at what's inside, what the quality is like, and so on and so forth, what you get for your money in the box. And of course, then I'll be doing builds. I'll do one on the 109, one on the Junkers 88, and as part of the Junkers 88, I'll show the Mistel going together as a finished piece. All those videos are on their way, along with everything else. How are you going to know when they come up? Best thing to do, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell, and you'll be notified when all my future content is published. And of course, if you like anything you see on the channel, please do remember, Imperial thumbs up on the like button below, because every like counts. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you come back for more builds and more information. I hope you come back for more of the history videos because I kind of enjoy making them. I think they work really well. But let me know what you think as well. Your opinion is really, really valuable to me. Have a great week. If you're in the UK, enjoy the uh, late summer that we're going to get. If you're anywhere else, I hope the sun's shining on your too. Happy modelling. I'll see you very soon. Take good care. Goodbye. <laughs>